I was super lucky in my personal career to to be earlier in Microsoft OpenAI partnership and uh, so like good, bad and ugly and, and super good of that, right? Uh, I think uh, I think we have something magical happening here as well and uh, like we're learning from experience less less ugly, more good, huh? 100%, 100%. <laughs> Thank you for the continued support and I'm super excited about this partnership. Thank you so much for having us in um, Shopify Toronto. <laughs> Exciting times. We just started a, an amazing uh, partnership together. Let's uh, talk about where, where we got started. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, I mean, this is a big day for us, right? Uh, our new chapter in our partnership. I, I still kind of remember, you know, two years ago when JJ connected us for the first time and, uh, and I was... True. I was so impressed with uh, what Liquid was doing back then. And of course, uh, my personal curiosity was strongly picked because I'm a physicist by training. So, you know, physical interpretation of uh, liquid layers as uh, a differential equation kind of story is was very interesting. And then, of course, I saw how you guys progress. So, yeah, again, thank you for coming. And uh, here's to our new chapter. Yeah, absolutely. The way we um, we think about these foundation models. It's like we have a motto in house. We call it uh, machine learning done right. You know, mm -hmm. and everything starts with physics. You know, as you mentioned, you know, everything starts with looking into nature and then trying to build uh, efficient. Like, because nat nature is always teaching you efficiency. You know, nature is always giving you algorithms that you never expect them to work. You know, and then you can. It actually reduces the space of. Um, you know, the search space of possibilities, you know, for algorithms, you know, to building like AI systems or new AI systems that can uh, help us solve real world problems, like the ones that we are trying to solve in e-commerce, right? We started building these uh, liquid foundation models that are fast, they are small, and they can solve, uh, uh, you know, like problems at the quality of the models that are like 2x or 8x kind of bigger than themselves, right? And then um, maybe you can tell a little bit about like the, the kind of the space, like how how these liquid foundation models that we're building could benefit kind of the 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 the, the type of work that you do at Shopify. But that's yeah, that, that's I think is might be interesting for people because there are really two big modes as large companies or any small companies, anybody is, is using AI nowadays. Is one is of course you get the largest model, you get GPT five Pro or Gemini Deep Think, and and you pound on that, right and yeah, everybody heard that uh, Shopify recently has been uh, one of the first companies to reach, uh, maybe the first company, I don't know, reach uh, trillion tokens of open AI consumption. So there is always that component. But far more numerous and I would claim more important is application and production that require low latency or require like incredible volumes where you don't need to chat about the weather, but you need specific tasks done at the best ability. So what you normally do, you do is distillation, right? And uh, right now, I would claim that liquid model is uh, probably one of the best, if not the best, for distilling and using in production. And that's what that's what we do. We're from ultra low latency applications. You, 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 I mean, you know, of course, in our search efforts, uh, we have uh, LLM that you know, generates the whole sentences in under 30 milliseconds, and that, that's the requirement. Uh, and uh, to, to in situations when you have, you need to have billions and billions of uh, products processed every day f uh, for for various uh, you know, data extraction and categorization and other uh, reasons, and and many more examples of where you would distill into liquid model and get significant advantage compared to other models that you know we all love and also use, such as Quen. And one other thing I actually wanted specifically maybe mention, because many people don't realize it, is that we always talk about language models as set of tokens. Uh, and tokens, everybody assumes, is, is like letters, right? You're chatting, you're chatbot, everybody is familiar with that. Well, sequences can be anything. And in fact, one of the most interesting applications are where the sequences are not human language tokens or even not something human perceivable, but for example, a set of things that's happening to the business or 
uh, set of news or set of actions that people take. And then creating a real digital twin, not in the sort of previous PR heavy sense, but more in, in, the, in reality of, of the company or, or a human being. And then being able to model their behavior and predict how they would react to some changes. That's, that's a phenomenal new area of, of uh, effort where, of course, Liquid is again at the forefront. So Absolutely. Yeah, I got very excited about this topic because, you know, like we built sequence models, you know, like when mm -hmm. we started working on the ideas of, uh, you know, generative AI systems, you know, we were thinking about signal in, signal out. Now, signal could be human understandable or signal could be anything. And it could be time series of irregularly sampled data, you know, user behavior and stuff. And then when you when you um, came up with this idea of like really like building, um, let's say like bringing these ideas of sequences and alternative kind of data to building like basically a generative uh, a system that can process those data and generate, for example, recommendations. You know, like you guys have been uh, working at the at the center of like having like a platform, e-commerce platform, like to really like provide uh, rec the best potential version of a recommendation to users. You know, so why not use this technology? You know, like this technology that allows us to build uh, um, general purpose AI systems to bring in more, more type of signals, you know, to build the best version of a recommender system that can bring value both to basically buyers and merchants, you know? Because if you think about in the e-commerce kind of domain, you would have uh, use cases where you want to improve the quality. If, if there's a stamp of time of a, of a company, like at a certain time, you want this, this company to become better as the time progresses, right? So then we can use this type of technology, this AI world, uh, um, these foundation models that we're building so that we can, we can get the merchants to that kind of state. At the same time, we can get the users also to that state, right? And then when we started brainstorming to bringing the you know, uh, liquid foundation models to these ideas of um, uh, building a general purpose recommender system, like an HSTU, as it is called, uh, um, we tried out some ideas and we worked together like uh, teams uh, from Liquid and from Shopify, they actually like started working together and we built um, something that I think it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, and I think it's the level of uh, state of the art. I think we can now, uh, you know, think about like productionalizing this, this, this uh, system that we're building together, which is a generative recommender system powered by uh, some of the Liquid models that we put in place and Liquid ideas. And, um, and um, I'm extremely excited about like the prospect of like this technology and how it can uh, benefit users. Yeah. And this is a really good point. Uh, and again, I wanted to stress for people is that everybody is familiar with recommending, I don't know, products or images on Pinterest or TikTok videos, right? Uh, but you have to think as you can also recommend, and this is for Shopify probably the most important use cases you can recommend next best action for merchants, How what next they should do to, to improve their business. And it could be something trivial and understandable. It could be something highly non-trivial and sometimes that happens. And uh, being able to model a whole company and predict counterfactually, hey, if we were introduced to introduce this action, what would have happened and then how difficult it is and then, you know, being able to provide that information, that's a huge unlock and a uh, big boon for our uh, customers and, and our merchants, which you know, we exist to serve, really. So I think uh, bringing HSTU there, as you know, has been our goal and effort for a while. And we, we have quite a few versions already in, in production, uh, already serving. But with this new chapter of collaboration, I think we we will do amazing things, like from what both of us you and I know on, on the drawing board, it's, yeah. it's going to be amazing. And and hopefully we will be able to share even something at New Rips. If you at New Rips, you know, stop by. We're going to have some yeah. exciting announcements. Absolutely. And, um, you know, there's like multiple places that these generative AI solutions can bring value. You know, as you mentioned, you know, some of them for productivity reasons, you can have like the largest, most sophisticated kind of version of AI that can help you build solutions. But also there are applications where 
they're latency critical, as you mentioned. They are like, you know, quality critical, but in places where you have to make a decision really fast. For example, if a user wants to search for, uh, let's say like they play basketball and they saw a, sh a certain type of shoes that their friend were wearing and they want to really look for that kind of shoes, they should not spend, uh, they, they cannot like just type in something there, uh, you know, like in, 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 in the commerce platform and then wait for 14 seconds to receive kind of a response, you know? So you need to have an instantaneous kind of reaction to things that are happening. So, and that means like latency becomes an extremely important matter, but while preserving quality. So one of the things that we've been doing at Liquid, as you know, we've been trying to build like really small nano versions of these foundation models, like extremely, we call them liquid foundation models or LFMs, you know, mm -hmm. to, to really co-optimize for, for these two things. No sacrifice on quality, but also, but but really make these models like low latency and begin. So in fact, like we can get the you know per, uh, um, a foundation model to complete a search job, for example, in a in a search space and a text to text kind of interaction in less than twenty millisecond kind of interaction. So that's kind of unlocks a whole new range of applications that we are also exploring. So in addition to like quality and exploring new data modalities that we can actually apply foundation models, it's also important to acknowledge like how you know, we can, we can optimize and bring the efficiency directly to like these smaller foundation models and enable like a wide range of applications that we are exploring together. Right? And yesterday we had a really good conversation on this topic that sometimes low latency, it's the requirements are so low that, that you can't even go to GPU. You have to Absolutely. have to stay on CPU. And uh, we were just Absolutely. looking at the graphs yesterday where by like by the eighth token, uh, the GPU becomes faster. But if you need to generate seven or less tokens, then, then CPU, CPU is actually... CPU might be even the best. Yeah, best and, and you, you folks have uh, really good CPU-only models and ability to serve even on cell phone, right? Like yeah. there have been showing me yesterday how it's uh, it's been pretty snappy on, on even cell phone device side but again this is this is uh, not what people usually think first when they think of LMs but right now we are there with uh, squeezing every millisecond out of the run but well as you said well preserving quality, quality. Like we, even in, in our project, uh, the one the most latency sensitive, as you mentioned, on search, where we started with the 8 billion model, right? Like one of the popular models, and then gradually squeezed it into one of the smallest LLM, LFMs. And they, the same quality, but the latency got, uh, you know, really much, much more palatable from, from the real time applications. Of course, that required a lot of architecture work and you know collocation of GPUs and that doesn't come cheap but uh, uh, this is where liquid I feel like is, is a big unlock for us thank you and um, you know looking into a future like the way I, th I think about the evolution of these technologies that like you you want to have like the best version of AIs to be able to run on the confined space that you can carry with you you know so I mean some of the things that we have been thinking about was like the efficiency, like being the DNA of our company, you know, we've been really thinking about bringing intelligence on any form of CPU, NPU, or GPU, you know, mm -hmm. so being kind of ubiquitous and be able to, like, to deploy these things like in our society. So I can see in the future, like where, you know, the future of like personal computers, personal devices, wearables, and all of these things, they're oh, going yeah, to divide. We're going to have like, you know, more computers and, and a lot of competition might actually get pushed. So this future of hyper-personalized kind of future, which in which like I think e-commerce is like one of the largest kind of players there because you know like I, I feel like, like e-commerce is going to stay where AI agents are going to come in and you know like interact with each other and enabling that kind of system hyper personalized and closest to the user in a low latency manner is something that we, I think in the future we can enable together so I feel like as we go forward and our partnership kind of gets deepened, you know, like I think this is the place where this is the future that we want to enable, like a full, full commerce, hyper-personalized kind of place where everybody gets the maximum amount of value and, and their joyful kind of experience at the end of it is like, you know, you really have to enjoy like the, also the process as you're, um, as you're um, you know, walking through this journey of AI getting integrated in our lives, right? The like super well said, and I wanted to add one more facet to it is uh, you mentioned variables and uh, the situations when you might have like low power device, uh, so you need to, to be very frugal, but 
There are also situations of low connectivity, for example, for our point of sale uh, you know, devices. It's an actual physical device that so many merchants have and, and use and love. Right now, sometimes you know, you're out of connection. Sometimes you're somewhere in the basement and the device needs to still work reliably and you want to be able to do search. You, don't want, to, you want to be able to, to uh, notice typos, you know, somebody's so, uh, you know typing nine hundred dollars instead of ninety for for some yes, purchase, right? A, uh, all that LLMs are s such a perfect solution for. And then, you know, if, if right now ability to run it on low power on uh, disconnected devices, again, I, I'm still impressed by yesterday's presentation. <laughs> Turn off the, the Wi-Fi. Like, look, at you 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 would never say that this this is not a, a cloud uh, network and cloud LLM. I think I think it it opens up such a world of possibilities and uh, for for buyers, for consumers, for merchants, for uh, overall experience between them. Of course, I wanted to say that we are super excited about this partnership or next chapter of it. And you know, I. Mm -hmm. Just to make, to make a grandiose statement, uh, I was super lucky in my personal career to to be early in Microsoft OpenAI partnership, and uh, so like good, bad, and ugly, and, and super good of that, right? Uh, I think uh, I think we have something magical happening here as well, and uh, like we're learning from experience, less. Less ugly, more good, huh? 100%, 100%. Thank you for the continued support, and I'm super excited about this partnership. Thank you for Thank you. being in service.